will serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I'd like to greet the church, those who visit us, those who are watching us with the peace of the Lord, those who can uh, stand up, please. We're going to open up the word of the Lord and the gospel of Matthew, chapter 20. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 20. Matthew 20. Starting on verse 1. The word says, For the king of heaven is like a land owner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyards. Now, when he had agreed with the laborers for denarius a day, he sent them into the vineyard. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace. I said to them, also go into the vineyard, and whatever is right will go into the vineyard, and whatever is right will give you. So they went, and again he went out about the sixth and the ninth hour, and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour he went out, and found all the standing idle, and said to them, Why have you been standing here idle all day? They say, Because no one hired us. He said to them, You also go into the vineyard, and whatever is right, you will receive. So when they even had come, the owner of the union said to the steward, call the laborers and give him their wages, beginning with the last to the first. Blessed be the name. God, we ask that your word can come and speak with us in a special way in the heart of each one tonight. Speaking blessing and that what's your wish comes to operate among us. Give us the revelation of a word. We glorify for the presence of you here among us, the people. In the name of Jesus, amen. Please be seated. Brethren, we uh, read a text that we have been studying. And when we see a text like this that's very known, and this text specifically we've been studying before about a year and a half ago I confess to the brethren that sometimes I ask myself where are we going to take something else from this text because everything that the Lord had to speak has been spoken in this text but sometimes comes an expression comes a word and that opens up something new in our hearts and we ask, how that guy, how can that guy find something in that text? It was not that guy. It was not that person that was preaching. It was God speaking. That's why the Bible, brethren, it's not a, sto a story book. It's not a geographic book. It's not a geography book. It's, it's, a, it's a book that speaks about a lot of people. It talks about places to the point where people use the Bible as a reference to find things from the, on the ancestors from the past. But the Bible is a book of faith. That's why the Bible does not lose, it doesn't waste any time, spend any time talk, trying to explain Jesus. It doesn't try to explain anything. The Bible starts saying, in the beginning, was God. Because well, God is God. It was God all the way back then. It was God yesterday. It's God today. It's going to be God tomorrow. It's God. God is God. And this text that we read speaks about God being represented as a family owner, a father. And to recap, this man, this owner of a family, was left early, early, early in the morning, looking for man to work on his vineyard. And, and, and in different moments of the days, 
different hours of the days, he finds people and he invites them. I have this vineyard here. Do you want to work for me? I'm going to pay you. And the man, one after another, in different hours of the day, moments, accepted that invitation. And what does that have for us? It speaks about our history. It talks about the man history. Why? Because God has a, a work. Has a work, work. It's a project. It's a plan. God, I believe, He didn't sit one. The project is this. That's the work. My son, you're going to have to go. You're going to have to go to the world. You're going to have to go down there. You're going to have to suffer for those because I love them. And God, and Jesus said, I'm here. Jesus accepted it. In this project, God has been calling the man. Different moments. Many came in the beginning. They were born in the presence of the Lord. Some of others came in the morning, early. Others came in the adolescence, young. And then there's a part here that says the sixth hour, which is the midday, is where the sun is the strongest. So many were called because because they were going through difficult moments in their lives where the sun was hurting them because the sun of this world hurts it brings pain some some were anxious but no one paid me any salary no one invited me the guy that's lazy that's not doing anything he doesn't do anything and many and before they were called were, were like those people that didn't were not doing anything <coughs> because if you don't have a work like those men because nobody offered them nobody thought that these men were dignified to work for them. And many of them, and how many of them were in that situation? How many have been called on the 11th hour, like the end of the day, which is today? Like, but I have been called, you can say that, but you're going to be called today in the name of Jesus. And why am I saying this, brethren? It doesn't matter. If you were born in the presence of the Lord, if you came on your children, or your adult, or, or senior, what matters is the Lord called you and you accepted the invitation. Blessed be the name. That's what matters. <clears throat> and there's a detail that this family owner was, i never seen it. But I believe that something very detailed he saw in our mind. I, I think someone. So if you're going to call somebody, you give it someone the chance that has experience. So if you're going to work with grapes, you're going to know how to work with grapes. The process of doing it, all of that. So interesting that this family owner he didn't use this as a requirement. He didn't go to those men to tell them, I have a vineyard to work with. Okay. But do you know how to work with grapes? Do you know how to do this? No. He didn't look at that. Do you want to work? Yes, I want to work. So come and I'll pay you. That was all the requirement he was asking for. Brother, God is not worried about with my bank account and how many diplomas I have, if I have, if I don't have. What God wants, it's an open heart. What, what, what God wants is a, my son, the work, the project of God. What's the project? Jesus that went to the cross, the Calvary, to die for me and you. That's the project. Do you want it? 
Yes, Lord, I do want it. Because here, it's not a, just a man. He's a father. And sometimes, we, the man that's in this world, he sometimes feels themselves orphan. He doesn't have a father. A father that many times when he's down, he, uh, stand, he gives him a hand and help him up. A father that sometimes children cry and puts his head on the shoulder to cry. That's the father. <coughs> We're not talking about any father. We're talking about a father that loved us since the eternity. So what the Lord wants from us is not what you have, but what you are. What the God has for you tonight it's something that's beyond of our comprehension. It's beyond our understanding. Because what he pays, it's one money. It's just one coin of metal. It's a one redemption. It's not two. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's not four. It's, not, it's a silver metal. Coin. Because the redemption of the Lord is just one. He went to the cross. It's just one Jesus. It's just one that was capable to die for you. It was just one that was capable to pay the price that he paid for that. Today, we'll be here praising that I'll serve the Lord. My house that's standing on a rock, it's not on the sand. Today, Brandon, we can say that we are more than victorious because we accepted this project. Well, but I'm going through uh, trials. My life doesn't go any further. Well, I confess that I cannot explain it to you. My, exp my explanation is that, is that it's hard, but it could be almost impossible, yes. But our lives, but it's not based, it's not how difficult it is here. It's our life is based in what's, what's expecting us in eternity. That's what's waiting for. That's, that's what's happening. But the heaven will be heaven. But I have a cry today. But in the heaven, you'll be a, you'll be joy. You'll be, you'll be, why? Why? Because one day we accept it, this call. And the period of night, it's out there. The, the modem, it's almost ready to be called. And he will call us. He's going to tell us uh, what is ours and what's this. And what we want is to be called. That the Holy Spirit call our name. And Jesus will say, come with the name of this. Yes, take this inheritance that's being prepared for you. What's waiting for us is already prepared. We're going to glorify the Lord with the name. You're going to glorify the Lord because you accepted this call if you have not accepted. Today is the day of salvation. The call is here. The owner of family. Your father calls you today. Blessed be the name of the Lord.
Bless me the name of the Lord. One day he looked at us. One day he called us. Hallelujah. Bless me the name of the Lord. There's nothing better to be part of this project. Bless me the name of the Lord. We're going to have a word of glorification to the name of the Lord. We glorify the Lord. We bless your name, oh Lord. Because we know that we don't deserve it. But there's great love. But you gave us the condition to be here, Lord. To serve you. We glorify you, Lord. Many times we don't understand the project of But the mystery of you is something wonderful. We know that the redemption is very precious. We know that it waits for us in the eternity, Lord. You care, Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord Jesus, brethren, the Lord gave us two gifts for this service. And one of the gifts, uh, the Lord showed that one lady that's here tonight, that she's been asking the Lord a sign about a proposal that was done to her recently. So she, when she received this proposal, in her eyes, it was, it was a very good proposal. But the Lord says tonight, give us, give us a, a warning that's a trap from the enemy to take away her blessing. And the Lord shows that to give you the deliverance. So, Lord, this, this sister, this, yes, how do I know, Lord, Pastor? Just consult the Bible to make sure that uh, it's you consult the Bible that the, if it is that if the Holy Spirit testify if you have any doubts consult the Bible and recently you have received the proposal good but it's not from the Lord amen it's a gift to this uh, couple they're going through a difficult the difficult moment in the relationship in the mar marriage that the Lord gives you a, give you the orientation that you need to need the mystery there are there are within the world what are what mysteries are this the Jesus Lord maybe you are here a long time at church but you don't let the Holy Spirit take over. You don't pray. You don't put the trials, the difficulties, that stuff that comes up with the, with praise. That's a you're not knowing the mystery of the Lord. Knowing Jesus is one thing. Jesus come to the world, died to us. Okay, but the servant of the Lord really needs to know the law, the life of Jesus what's behind that the world doesn't know that you as a servant us as a servant we've been seeking for it the revelation from the Lord Amen and that the service was not a we're not here for uh, no reason we're here because it's a project for the Lord you're not brought to this service, to this place, because you want it. Because the Lord wanted to bring you here. And tonight, it's a night of redemption. On the tenth hour, many were called. And today, you may be called. All you have to do is accept this invitation. The, the invitation from the Lord. 
It's not a denomination. It's not a member of the church, Maranatha. No, nothing like that. The work of the Lord, it's way bigger, much bigger, goes beyond with this institution. The work of the God is to reach all of us. And tonight, you can be part of this family. This is spiritual family. You want that? Is that what you want? You can say that now. Yes, that's what I want in your heart. Yes, I do. I want I want the salvation of Jesus. I need it to be saved by Jesus. I want the certainty this Jesus is here. It's close soon to be back. Be part of it. Try to be part of this family. Let's stand up, please. We're going to pray for the end of the service, a word of glorification. We bless your name, Lord. We praise your name we, for this special service that you uh, have touched in our lives, that you have spoken to us, to each one of us in a, in a very special way. Thank you for the opportunity to uh, regret for all the things we've done to give us the condition to serve you each day. We praise your name because we know this mystery one, that one day was revealed to us. We praise you because tonight the salvation in your house is what you want. More lives that come to you, Lord. We praise the Lord because you give us the certainty that the Holy Spirit has moved many hearts. We bless your name, Lord, because soon your son will be back to take us to be raptured, Lord. Take away all, all the suffering because we'll be with you, Lord. That will sustain us stronger this walk with you, Lord, because a high price was paid one day for us to be here. We praise the Lord, exalt you tonight in your presence. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Uh, receive, O oh Lord, our adoration, our expression of gratitude to you, Lord. We are grateful, Lord for everything that you've done, for the blessings we receive, for your care, for your love, for everything that you've done for each one of us. We bless your name, Lord, because until now, you have helped us. We bless your name, O Lord, for, your, for our call, because one day we accepted this call. We bless your name, Lord, for your, your, your look of mercy Lord every day has forgiven us because through the blood of Jesus we have reached the, the forgiveness of our sins those that would have taken us to the eternal death today we have Jesus in Jesus we can require we can say in high voice that we've been saved in Jesus and this is what keeps us joyful this is that makes us come back to your present receive our adoration Lord take us in peace Lord that we can have a night in your presence and then we can be visitors with dreams directed from you Lord that we can be here tomorrow again in your house to study your word to know more your mystery is the praise we name, thank you in the name of Jesus, amen. And in the name we say, the wonderful grace of our Jesus Savior, Jesus Christ, the love of God, our eternal Father, the sweet consolations of the Holy Spirit to be upon us now and forever, amen. Please be seated. We're going to start our assistance, the people in the Zoom.
You can open up uh, your mic, greet the brothers and sisters. We can uh, stop praise. Okay. We are here available today. It's our first service without mask. A lot of people knew. The workers. They're the same people, but he hasn't recognized them. So we're not wearing masks. Don't make don't make bad faces anymore. Those who still feel comfortable, don't feel comfortable without mask and wear it. It's up to you. If you wanted to you wear the mask, be feel free. With all peace of Lord. Tomorrow ten thirty. Two hours study, biblical study. Peace of Lord. You're a good man, Steve. I think so. I know so. I don't care what others says either. I'm a hundred percent 